Turkey in the quarterfinals later on this evening. Jamie Bain with an overall average this weekend of 95.83. But Martin Schindler also has his credentials as well, beating Roby John Rodriguez 6-4 in the first round here. And then, like I say, losing just two legs against Ian White in the second round yesterday and averaging 98.92 as well. I believe it was the third highest average of the day. First leg, Jamie G. Rufus. Game on. And he wasn't too shabby on his finishing either. 137. Big opportunity for the German. Big opportunity for the Scotsman as well. Paul Nicholson once again alongside me for this one. How do you see this one shaping up, Paul? 100. It's an intriguing contest for me because both of these guys have never played in the last 16 stage of the oh, European Tour event. They've never played on a Sunday afternoon. They both know the enormity of what they can achieve by winning this match. I remember a game in September of last year in Rissa between uh, Ryan Meikle and Yori Meowisa. And both of those guys were playing for the first time in the European Tour. And they both found themselves at the stage. And it was quite an edgy game. And that's what I expect right here. But Jamie Bain's played re really, really well this week. And Martin Schindler has had a career-defining performance against Ian White yesterday. So if they can just ride the wave, it could be a really good match. 57. Yeah, it could be a, a really good weekend all round for Martin Schindler with the added incentive of a potential appearance in the World Series, the uh, German Darts Masters in Dusseldorf late this year as well. I don't like the tempt fade, but Martin yeah, Schindler has definitely got the rubber stamp out, ready to punch that ticket. Double eight for Bain. Oh, oh very nice indeed. Nice hold of throw. Well, he might not have a dark shirt, he might not have a nickname, but Jamie Bain has got the first leg on the board here. Oh! It's Martin Schindler who's got the first 180 of this leg. I mentioned Martin Schindler's performance Six, yesterday against Ian White. It was the best game of his career. I'm more than happy to say that because he showed us a level that he's never showed before. 96. So now what he's got to do to continue his improvement is play like that a bit more. No pressure, Martin. <laughs> 134. Well, this is a battle between two players who came through Q School earlier this year in uh, slightly different ways. Schindler came through the final day in Wigan. 96. Seeing off Jose Henrique Pinto de Sena, 5-4. Sven Grun, Nolan Arens and uh, David Venken and Warwick Sheffer as well. And Paul Rowley. Bain secured his via the Q School order of merit, so he had to just bide his time but he was consistent enough over the four days Easy to enough. do enough. He was one of the 12 players to earn a tour card that way. I think he had the most points after the finish of Q School of the guys who didn't get an automatic tour card by yeah. winning the day. Martin Schindler on tops after 12, which is a great leg. Double 10. Yeah, and that makes sure that Jamie Bain doesn't get a pop that one for eight. Well, I've said it might be an edgy affair, but it's been quite a classy affair, in fairness. And we talked about Bain's win yesterday over Alan Norris, but his 6-1 demolition of uh, Christian Kist in the first round really set the tone for the weekend as well. 99.91 the average that day for Bain as well. He had a first three average of 137 as well in that match. I think that's the highest of the weekend so far as well. I don't think we've uh, had anything to surpass that since then. I can't think of a performance that would have rivaled that first three average. But when you're starting legs well, your confidence can grow. 100. Well, Bain made his European Tour debut in the German Darts Championship three years ago. He was walloped Mike, uh, by Michael oh, Smith 6-0. Fared much better in his second appearance on the European Tour. He made the last 16 of the German Darts Masters, so he has made the final day of a Euro Tour event before, but never beyond that. 59, Jamie Gorn, 167. Beat Kim Hybrix that weekend as well. 
Didn't qualify for any of these events last year. 120, sir. Just a, a couple of appearances this year prior to this weekend. Well, Jamie Bain will definitely want to kick on from this because he's got plans for the future. He's putting things in place so that he can do this a bit more regularly. And that won't harm his cause. A 13 data. And the first three legs have been very good from both gentlemen. Yeah. Both really maintaining the standards that they've set already this weekend. Yeah, I remember that run to the last 16 in Munich. It, it was the Easter weekend a couple of years ago, and I was really surprised that he never really backed it up on the European Tour. He, like I say, didn't qualify for any of these European Tour events last year. There were 10 of them in 2016 as well. Just two appearances prior to this weekend as well in 2017. Beat uh, Chris Dobie in the first round in Hildesheim this year, lost to Joe Cullen in the second round, and then beaten one. by Christoph Ratajski in the opening round in Saarbrücken. That performance against Chris Dobie was arguably his best performance on stage so far in his career. It was excellent. 134. Oh, look at this again from the guy that starts the leg. They are just bossing their throw. Nine darts thrown, 87 left. Well, hang about. He's only hit 83. 83. That is miscounted. That's a good leave, Martin. Well, as mistakes go, yeah, it could have been a lot worse. You don't want that to derail your focus. He thought he's, he's won the leg in 12 darts. Now he hasn't won the leg yet. And he's under pressure to hit this double two because Jamie Bean could well come back and hit that. That two darter. Yeah, he was on 87. He hit the 17, the 16 and the bullseye. So he's left with double two here. This is a real test of mental strength. Now it's a real test of accuracy. Oh, he's oh. him. I am mimicking an American football kicking judge. It's good. It's very good. Straight down the middle. And now we see the standard being maintained for 15 or below darts per leg so far. Good standard from these two. Now, talked yesterday about the relevance of averages didn't we with uh, Kim Villianen's win over Peter Wright I'm just looking at the individual dart averages for Schindler his first dart average is 24 his second dart average and third dart average both 37 so if you could rectify that small incremental though it is 100 you know it could make a difference if he is to find a break of throw it says to me that his uh, his adjustments have been pretty good and we've just seen that adjustment on double two, which is one of the best darts you'll see all weekend. Ninety-eight. Well, everything's been on throw so far. And Jamie Bain's going to be 92. under a little pressure here. If and only if Martin Schindler can find troubles. Well, it looks like it's going to be OK. 114. Trouble 18 for double top. Double top for 15 dart leg. 94. He's broke the streak. Yeah. Love games where everything's 15 and below. You just 65. You see such quality. You require 20. Jamie Bain won't care as long as he hits his double. Double five. Yeah. He's just fiddling with it a little oh, bit, and he knows it's 15. making him anxious. Because Schindler, this could be a game changer. It could well be. Fifty-eight remaining. Tops then for Martin Schindler for a first break of throw. Ninety-five. Jamie, you require ten. And that's a bit of a let off for Jamie Bain. Yeah. He still has to find double five. It can be awkward for many a player, but Jamie Bain finds 
Number five, it was a 20 dart hold of throw. He won't care one shot about that. He leads 3 2. Those double five shots are confidence boosters Whoa. when you hit them. They're confidence executioners when you keep missing them. So, yes, he fiddled around a bit with that leg and got away with Martin Schindler missing a break dart. But the plot thickens. Schindler starts the leg brilliantly. Once again, though, unable to find the trouble with the first dart, just unable to set the tone, and that's the... That is a concern here for Schindler. Let's see how he fares here. Again, way above the uh, treble 20 bed. That one's way below. 50, sir. And even when he switched to the 17s, it didn't work out for him either. But he's still in good shape in this leg. That uh, has to be said. Oh, Although no, 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 Jamie Benn just applying a bit of pressure here. Now, the great Sid Waddell would have categorised Martin Schindler's last visit as a bag of nails. Once again, unable to find a treble with the first dart, but recovers with the third dart. That's been the feature for Schindler so far today. He's down to a finish of 104. 58. Martin, you go 104. Well, I'm puzzled as to why Jamie yeah. Bain switched there. I thought he'd stay on the 20s and guarantee the 170 checkout chance. Double 11. 82. That's a different way of going for 104. That's one out of the Dave Pallet playbook. 100. Got to hit this double 11. It sits really well for the way his darts go on the board. Unless you split it. Double four for 3-3. Three, three. Oh, that's good, you know. There's some good clubs going on here, Rob. It's like being on a golf course and constantly hauling your six-footers for pars. 98. Of course, Germany does have a very, very good golfer in Martin Keimer. Mm. A few others as well. They're actually playing Nine, on the European Tour Golf today. I wonder who's going to win that title. Could well be Henrik Stenson or Sergio Garcia, but all we care about is who's going to win in Austria Sixth today. In the darts. Well, this one is very much in the balance, as you say. Both players just chipping away, aren't they? And just staying in contention here. One break of throw could well prove decisive. Or... It may well be that we have one of those matches where we just keep on going with the throw and ultimately it all boils down to who won the bull off. Tell you what, Rob, this has got 5-5 five, five written all over it. The way this match has panned out so far, I'll be shocked if we don't go to a last leg decider. Well, as we said, the, the incentive here is absolutely a huge uh, first Euro Tour quarterfinal for either of these two. 96. Not just the fact that they'd be in the quarter-final, but it's, it gifts the opportunity of potentially putting down another marker in their career. Yes, they'd play the world number one, but the opportunity is there. Treble, 17, would have left double 18. 87. Now, what do we have here? An opportunity for a break of throw for the first break in this match. It will be double 16 for the wall. 56. And now Jamie Bain's got 60, which Jamie I Bain's thoroughly 60. think he's going to hit. Because everything's been on throw so far. Two tens, and he's not moving back. 50. Maybe he should have done. On in your require 60. Now then, big opportunity here for Martin Schindler for the first break of throw in this third round match here in Austria. And he takes double eight with the very first start in hand and a statement of intent there from Schindler. Trailed 3-2 and now leads 4-3. And the German has his nose in front here. Just looking at Jamie Bain's record, I was trying to establish when he last made a quarter final. He made one on the Q School early this year. But ignoring that, uh, there was a semi-final appearance at the Harper's Wick Open in October of 2014, a final appearance at the Montrose Open in July of that year. 100. And uh, another one at uh, Q School in 2014 as well. So this is uncharted territory as far as he's concerned. Well, I denied him a place in the quarterfinals of the Portland Open at the end of August last year. 
we had a we had a proper game of darts. I won 5-4 and 140. Sure it won't be the last time I played Jamie. Of course, Martin Schindler was a quarter finalist at the World Cup recently, so that definitely counts. More recent pedigree. And he's actually had a, a couple of quarter-final appearances on the uh, development tour this year as well. In fact, one semi-final and uh, one quarter-final at the very start of this year. You think for the young guys right now, people in the want? position of Martin Schindler, Pro Tour, Euro Tour and Development Tour, that's a lot of darts to play and it's a great opportunity to get better. And I've been watching Martin Schindler for about 12 months now, very consciously. He is getting better in front of our very eyes. Yeah, it doesn't turn 21 until August as well. He's roughly the same age as Max Hopp. But there are just signs here that, you know, Schindler could well be challenging Hopp's status as Germany's number one 99. in due course. Good rivalry for the future. And it'll probably allow them both to get better if they want to you know, bounce off each other and have a bit of banter about who's the best. I mean, he's got a long way to go. He's 101 in the order of merit, 91 on the Pro Tour order of merit at this particular moment in time. Double 10 will give him... Double 5 now. We'll give him a two-leg advantage and he'll be one away. One away he is. Yeah, look what it means as well. Real show of emotion from Martin Schindler. Just one place separating these two in the world rankings at the moment. Jamie Bain is sitting at number 100. Schindler is at 101, but it's Schindler who's in control here. World rankings not counting for too much in this particular encounter now. One leg away from a quarter-final appearance on the European tour. What a moment this could be for German dance and for Martin Schindler himself. Well, the last time a uh, German made oh! quarter-final of the Euro Tour was Max Hopp, wasn't it? If my memory serves me right, I think it was Peter Wright that beat him. 58. Jamie Bain won't give up. Even though he's 5-3 down, he's got the kind of rhythm 93. to simply rattle off three legs in the blink of an eye. And this is the first thing he's got to do. Holding this leg and just keep going. 58. Jamie Irvine, 128. Polish this off. Which he might well do. He might well do. Game and he has to. Yeah. Slightly unconventional, but that's using the board to perfection and sends a message to Schindler to say, I'm not going anywhere. Really stylish check out that. It was uh, even too fast for our cameraman as well. Jamie Bain was uh, quick fire there, finding that 1 2 8. 100. I was talking to Jamie after his win yesterday. He was on on the phone to his, po his uh, partner, Paula. And she was super, super nervous to watch Jamie Easy yesterday. Ball. I fear to think what she's going through right now. It's easier to play than to watch. Trust me. Jamie Bain desperately wanted a couple of 140s in this leg just to... Yeah. Grit his teeth and get into Schindler in what seconds. could be the last leg of the match. Eighty-three. Got it tight. Two six two for Schindler. Two six one for Bain. Schindler's got the darts. The pressure's on. And look what he delivers. One forty. Well, that'll do. For now, he'd like Bain to avoid the troubles here. 92. But Bain just keeps Bain himself. Well, no, he doesn't. 22. Wasn't thinking there, was he? I sincerely think that he probably looked at Schindler's score of 262 previously and thought that he had that one. He had 261. He needed to keep it straight. As a result, Martin 64. Schindler, six darts from 122, and now three darts for 57 to take this match out and eliminate Jamie Bain. Oh, what a costly error that could be by Jamie Bain. Might not have made too much difference in the long run anyway, but Schindler now looking at 57. 
and he's now looking at tops for the match and for a meeting with Michael van Gerwen in the quarterfinals of the Austrian Darts Open later on tonight. And Martin Schindler becomes the latest German to make the quarterfinals of the European Tour events. Max Hopp managed it in Hamburg last year, losing to Peter Wright. 